In general, to add to the end of an n element list, it takes n plus 1 steps. Hey, this is an important difference between our function add to end and more primitive operations. Add to end takes more time on bigger inputs, whereas more primitive operations like counts and first and rest take about the same small amount of time no matter how big their inputs get. More specifically, add to end takes time approximately proportional to or linear in the number of elements in the input list. Once we understand this difference, we are ready to analyze how much time is taken by the main function rev. Let's reverse the three element list main bytes dog, for example. First, the computer reverses the rest of the list bytes dog. Then, the computer adds man to the end of the two element list dog bytes. The number 3 in the table does not mean that add to end is called 3 times. Rather, add to end is called just once, but it takes 3 steps because its input is a 2 element list. Of course, recursively reversing the 2 element list bytes dog is also a significant amount of work. In the column for the helper function add to end, we cannot fudge the difference between the numbers 3 and 2 and 1 because the bigger the input, the more time add to end takes to run. So our conclusion is it takes 10 steps to reverse a three element list.